to show a simple warehouse management outbound process, I've created two sales owners with lines for item 1601 and 1604. So I'll release basically all open sales order lines for these two items, um, which also is going to be shipped uh, within the next uh, couple of days. And what we can see is from, from that list, I have um, three lines on different uh, sales orders, but they are referring to the same customer account. So with the enablement that we already did for the outbound warehouse management processes, we will actually um, get these lines as part of one shipment. So let's activate, in this case, all orders where the entire order can be delivered. And then, as you can see, all of them has been activated. Let's release for picking operation within the warehouse. Taking a look at the shipments, what we can see is that a shipment has been created and actually the shipment reservation including activation has been run due to the enablement settings. So for this shipment we have both picking route and pallet transport which needs to be performed as the next operation. Picking as part of the picking routes will basically be done uh, two places within the application. As part of the picking registration, where each line can be selected and then updated as picked, or a more guided picking operation is part of the common picking routes. I will select the picking route that I'm going to be performing picking operation on. I'll create a picking pallet. Basically this is the handling unit where the pick goods will be put at after having done the picking operation. And as you can see for this picking route it's only two locations that I need to perform picking operation at. I'll go and approve the picking details. I'll go and select that I've done picking of the first line and pick the second line. Now due to the outbound rules I would need to deliver the pallet with the goods I've just picked to the staging area. So I will go to the outbound dock 01 and mark my pallet as being delivered. Now looking at the shipment, what you can see is that now all picking routes, in this case only one, has been completed but we are still missing the outbound pallet transport. So let's move to pallet transports. We need to pick one pallet and move that pallet to the out 01 location. So I'll start the transport and confirm that I have delivered the full pallet. Now having a look at the shipment, the shipment status is now staged. Both picking routes and pallet transports has completed. So now we need to perform the final shipment staging before loading and shipping 
and as you can see the two pallets we just picked and delivered to the outbound location one is waiting. What I'll do is I'll move the two items from one of the pallets. So I'll key in that I would like to move one piece to another pallet. Now having all items on one pallet and then I'll simply load that pallet into the truck and shipment staging has been performed. With this the shipment is now loaded and we only need to send off the shipment I'll print the shipment list as part of this operation and as you can see only one pallet has been shipped containing items for two sales orders but that's going to be shipped to the same customer account. Thank you for watching this recording about outbound warehouse management processes.